What's up ladies and gentlemen, Trouble Cab here and today we're going to try something a little weird. For the longest time I've had this X210 frame, the real ACC X10, it's a clone of the QAVX and I've, I've been flying it for the last almost two years now and it's, it's a great frame, don't get me wrong, it's robust, it's sturdy, it's never broken, no problems whatsoever, no complaints with it except for one. The frame itself is a true X and it's, there's a little area in the middle for a stack and that's about all the room you've got. There's enough room in there just for a stack and just barely able to squeeze any other th components like a VTX or a receiver. You just barely have enough room. And it was always a pain in the butt trying to do repairs and just trying to get everything to fit in there properly. I've been wanting to get a better frame with a little bit more room. So I ordered a TBS Source 1. I think it's a version 2, 02 or something like that. We got that today and we're going to take all the guts out of my X210 frame pop them into the source one take it out for a little hover test and see how it goes so here we go All right, we've got everything assembled. We're gonna take it out real quick for a little bit of a hover test, see how that goes, make sure everything's functioning, all the motors are going the right way. It should, everything should be fine. I haven't changed a single setting in beta flight or anything like that, so everything should be mostly pretty much okay. We'll see, we'll take it outside right now and give it a little hover. All right, so everything is good with the hover, which I didn't expect anything to be wrong. Everything should be fine. It was just like I took it out of one, put it in the other. So the only thing I was really worried about is whether motor is going to get warm. Is, am I going to need to do a little tuning to get out any shakes or anything? And the motors were a little bit warm. They weren't super hot, but they were a little more warm than I would like. Rather than adjusting anything right now, I'm just going to take it out to the field by the lake and throw the goggles on and do a little FPV and we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the motors are not too bad, they're not too warm. If they are, it's probably because of some tuning issues and I'll notice that while I'm flying FPV. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna fly around a little bit FPV and I'm gonna check my motors, make sure they're okay. If not, we might stop right here. I'm gonna go home and do a little bit of tuning, a little PID tuning. I gotta, I, I will, you'll notice in the FPV video, I'm gonna do a little bouncing and just checking to make sure there's no wobbles or anything crazy. Because like I said, I haven't changed any beta flight settings. This is the X210 frame settings. All just totally moved over. I haven't changed a single thing. We're going to see how it goes um, before I change any tuning aspects of the quad. So here we go. Check those motors out. They're a little warm. They're not bad. 
think we're okay. One is more warm than others. It's probably an indication of something to come. I think we're okay. All right, let's fly. So there we go. Everything seems to be fine. I didn't notice any shakes or wobbles. When I reviewed the footage, I guess we'll know a little better, but um, everything seems fine to me. The motors did not get too hot. They, initially, they got a little warm, but the more I put them in the air and flew around, the cooler off they got, so they're fine. The tune, I see nothing I really need to change. Um, everything is just like it was. Um, the only difference in how it flies is the fact that I've got a top mounted battery now instead of a bottom mounted battery So there's a little bit of a difference in the feel there, but overall I got more room in the frame to work around and move things put stuff in certain areas and nothing's like stacked on top of I don't have it all crammed into one small spot so that's the whole ultimate goal right there to achieve and I've achieved it so I'm happy this new these new frames by the way the TBS source one they're not clones but they're very cheap um, I think I paid like a little less than 30 bucks for mine and they, they also have a source 2 which is more designed for the racing aspect of the hobby they're both about the same price I looked at them and this one's more for freestyle so I went with the freestyle one it's a little bit heavier the source 2 has got a little bit less weight to it apparently overall I'm happy the thing seems to be flying pretty well I'm pretty happy with it and um, I think we'll leave it at that. 
TBS Source 1 version 02 frame. Thumbs up. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright guys, that is a wrap. I'm going to get home, throw a video together, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Caps out.